I decided to do a quick review on this Whalen Barston fireplace that you could order via Walmart. The reason I am doing this review is for the simple fact that when I was doing my research and trying to get some information on this, there really wasn't anything available. Um, so the only thing available is on their website and the biggest concern was delivery. This is a piece that you have to put together yourself. Um, and honestly, it's not that hard at all. I'll turn this on in a little bit. It's kind of dark. Can't really see it. Um, but anyways, getting back to what I was saying. So according to everyone's review is it would get delivered, it would get left. It's a very heavy piece. You definitely need two people. Um, and also that things get damaged. So I have couple complaints, um, but realistically, they're very minor. I'm actually very pleased with this. Um, so I'm just gonna go off the top that they do provide glue, but it's like an almond's glue. So get yourself some wood glue. This will probably work a lot better. Um, and they also give you a touch-up marker, which is the, you know, comes into play to get rid of the complaints that I was just saying. Um, so to start with, if you see back here, that nick, that's actually like a gouge. That's pretty freaking deep. Um, it also had it on this corner. I did the touch up, you can't notice that. Also on this corner, the touch up, can't notice that. The other issue was this hinge was pretty much seized. Um, you have to unpop it out play with it, get yourself some grease. I don't know if that has to do with maybe it was sitting on a truck and it's the temperature, whatever. Um, but be cautious of that when you are putting these together. Hopefully you don't get one that sees where you might have to actually go get yourself a new one. Here's the fireplace itself. Um, as far as installing this, when you go put it in, you actually, I don't know if you can see how much room, um, you actually want to just slide it in face first. Do not slide it in on its back. You are going to gouge the actual piece. Um, this could also hold a 70 inch TV. That's in the process for Black Friday. Um, so now, going forward, um, this piece usually will run you at Bob's, Jordan's, Ashley's Furniture, pretty much anywhere, you know, I'll say 400 to $800. Um, because what they will do is they will not build it for you. Um, they'll actually come in and build it, so they charge you that. All you need to put this together is a Phillips screwdriver, believe it or not. Um, so going back on what the main complaints were, and actually let me turn this on. It even gives you a little remote. Of course, that varies on the uh, model you get. I also want people to keep in mind that you could always get a different fireplace if it has the right measurements. Um, let's give, give you guys an idea. Um, so yeah, so now going forward to what I was saying, <clears throat> sorry. Um, they have different models. This is another thing I was looking on the reviews where people are saying, oh, it didn't come with a remote and it was a different unit. That unit does not come in with a remote or a timer or different lighting settings on the flame. Um, you know, as you see, this actually has a timer, um, it has different settings. Let's see, dim or just that. Um, and it actually does provide really good heat. Um, it will heat up a room 400 square feet. Um, and you can set a timer up. They did a great job in actually designing this lip. So they, this seat right here is actually coming out right here. It's not coming up. Um, so that's a, a plus. Um, I will say the quality of the material in the build is really good. It holds their own with Bob's, Jordan's, Ashley's furniture. So that's why I was just going to get back on. If you want a piece that will hold a 70 inch TV like this one, you're going to end up spending about $700. Um, you're better off, you know, look on Walmart, Black Friday, Rollbacks, whatever, order it. It'll probably take you two to three hours to build it, um, but try to be home. Um, we got real lucky. We were told that it would be here Monday. We actually ended up 
get in there on Saturday. Um, and fortunately, the people who came in, in, we let them in, they brought it right in. If it has to go up on a second floor or something, they're probably not going to do it, and I don't blame them. Um, realistically, they don't get paid for that. Their job is just bring it to your address and pretty much leave it. And again, it is a heavy piece. So with that being said, <clears throat> um, the only issue I had was that scuff in the back, which is right here. It looks like you got hit by a forklift. Luckily, no glass, tempered glass got smashed or anything of that nature where it was something where it's uh, going to affect the function of it and what, what the purpose of it is. Um, so I really am pleased, um, but just keep that in mind that make sure you're home. Um, and if you do live on a second floor, you know, you might want to end up just picking it up yourself and scheduling a delivery because I really don't think these people will will do that. Um, and again, with Wally World, you never know because they pretty much just auction off the delivery. You pay a fixed rate and that's how it goes. Um, so I will give a thank you to the people from Pilot uh, Delivery because they they just brought in. They didn't even, I didn't even have to ask them. Um, but we were here and it was a straight shot through the breezeway and then a quick turn and we were able to bring it in. Um, so overall, I'll give this four out of five. Um, Again, main issues, it looks like it was more either the warehouse or them packaging it. I don't think it was the delivery people. It, that puncture looks like it was from a forklift. And as far as the supplier themselves, they mislabeled this base. So as you, you know, how putting stuff like this together, like from Ikea or whatever, prefab, they'll have everything with a schematic or with a print, and they'll have it referenced to A, B, C, D. Luckily, this is supposed to be an L. They labeled it a D, where a D is this because it has a special cut in the back for the cables to be hidden. Um, that's the only other complaint, but honestly, again, anyone with common sense, and if you look at the build material, it gives you a piece count where you could go through it. Um, so overall, very happy. Very good alternative if you have an area that's a little chilly. I mean, this room is 438 square feet. I have a furnace on the other side that will warm this whole area up, but we have a reclining um, set behind me that this will just spit up the heat at a good level, um, and plus this will heat up 400 square feet, and so it's always good to have two alternatives so you could have gas or electric heat. Um, so that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to comment, subscribe, ask questions. Again, I really decided to do this for the simple fact there was no review on it, uh, which got very frustrating because realistically, again, this fireplace, if you wanted a marble kind or any other kind, you could go buy that separate. Just get your dimensions, make sure it will fit, and you could order a smaller piece. This is actually a piece that could hold up to a 70 inch has a double shelf, so my room, this back room is an open concept. The dining room is right behind me, so I want to make sure when we do put our bigger TV on there, and if people are sitting in recliners, if someone's sitting on the table, their head won't block the TV. So we needed that height. I needed the room for my console when I set up my PC, and my VR, and all that. Um, so we needed that shelf space. If you live in a small condo or an apartment, you know, again, this is a good alternative um, to, to help keep yourself warm at night. So without any further ado, hope you enjoyed. Again, got this through Walmart. This was just a quick view of the Wallen um, Barstu fireplace. <clears throat> Model FP261A is the actual electric fireplace heater. And as far as the actual structure, there's all your codes right there. Already, it looks really complex. Realistically, it's just you know this book is thick because there's multiple languages in it. So you would just need a Phillips screwdriver. Use some wood glue. Don't use the Elmer's. I mean, you can, um, but if you have it, that'd probably be the safe bet. So have a good one. Hope you enjoyed. Later.